Hi, Dr. Chambers. Hi, Taylor. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Why don't you introduce yourself real quick? Great. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Todd Chambers, and I serve as Associate Dean in the College of Media and Communication here at Texas Tech University. I've uh, been teaching here 22 years and uh, just, just have enjoyed uh, not only the growth in our college, but uh, here at, at this great university. So and I know a lot of people probably know what media and communications is, but what is it here at Texas Tech? Like, what are the majors y'all offer? So our majors, uh, we offer seven different academic majors. We've got five different departments. We've got a uh, department of advertising and brand strategy, and that is home to our major in advertising. We've got a department of communication studies, and that's home to our major in communication studies. We've also got a department of journalism and creative media industries, and that is going to be our uh, home to our two of our degree programs, one called creative media industries and the other called journalism. Then we've got another uh, department called professional communication. It's our newest department, and it's home to one of our brand new majors called digital media and professional communication. And it's also home to a major that we've had for a few years called media strategies. And then we've got our Department of Public Relations, and that is home to our degree in public relations. So what types of jobs are your graduates getting? Oh, man. It, they're getting all types of jobs. We've got uh, graduates uh, all the way. We, we've got a recent grad uh, that is the chief commercial officer for Activision Blizzard Entertainment, which is like the world's largest video game company. Uh, we've also got students that, uh, we've got a student right now. He is a CMI graduate from a few years ago. He is in Budapest, Hungary right now, working on the next Marvel Films project. Uh, then, of course, we've got uh, journalists, we've got uh, news producers, we've got uh, press secretaries for political campaigns and uh, uh, U.S. congressmen. And so man, we have graduates working in Fortune uh, 100 companies. Uh, we've got the mayor of Amarillo, that's one of our graduates, and so, so many others. I'll show you something here in a minute that will help you explain all of the different career pathways that our, our uh, majors uh, uh, generate. Those sound really cool. When a student applies to tech, can they visit campus and meet with someone to tell them about their major? Most definitely. In fact, c come here. We've got a recruiter and uh, what she does is she will come in and sit down with uh, our students. Uh, she'll come in and sit down with parents, visitors, and others, and they'll be able to uh, share kind of what our majors do and what uh, they're, they're uh, gonna be prepared to do over the next four years in their college career. Wow. So are there certificate programs that students can earn? Yes, most definitely. We've got um, uh, all types of different programs in our college. We, our majors, um, they can, uh, we, we've got a pretty special uh, degree program where students can do a, uh, a major and then they can minor in a different program in our own college or they can obviously minor outside of our college. We've also got several certificate programs for our undergraduate students to participate in. Uh, some of these certificates include a sports media certificate. We've got one in entertainment media. Uh, we've got another one in uh, motion picture production, and we've got some others as well. So we'd love to talk to your students about those certificate programs. What about scholarships? Oh, definitely. Our, each year our college gives uh, out about or awards about $300,000 in scholarships every year uh, to our undergraduate students. And uh, we've got scholarships that uh, are for all of our majors. Uh, and then we've also got some uh, special scholarships that focus on students also from uh, the local area as well. Uh, then of course, we've got scholarship uh, winners from Hearst and, and the Texas Association of Broadcasters and many other professional organizations as well. So how does academic advising work in the college? Well, I'm here to tell you, I, I, know, I'm, I know I'm probably a little bit biased, but I think we've got the best academic advising team uh, on campus. We've got wonderful advisors all across this campus. They're gonna work with your student, uh, work with you and answer any of your questions as well. But um, our advising team was recognized with the President's Excellence in Advising Award uh, just recently. And uh, each one of our academic majors, uh, they have their own academic advisor. And so 
uh, each one of our advisors from the time that a student gets here for their red ready orientation uh, all the way until their graduation, they will see one academic advisor. Of course, all of our advisors are cross-trained and they can help any of our students uh, at any point in their college career. So what happens if a student starts struggling with their courses? Well, we've got a, a college retention specialist um, and uh, what that retention specialist does, she works with all of our faculty, with all of our advising team. Uh, we try to, um, we have an early warning system that we're trying to look out for students who may or may not be struggling with attendance, for example. Let's say they showed up to class uh, every day in September and then all of a sudden in October, they, they disappeared for about a week or so. Well, we're gonna notify our retention specialist and she's gonna work with that student to make sure, hey, are you doing okay? Are you overwhelmed? What, what's going on? We uh, utilize and plug into all different types of uh, resources on campus where we try to basically um, get a feel for what's best for the student uh, from their physical and mental wellness. And we're gonna do our best to try to uh, make that happen. How does a student get involved in student organizations here? Well, it's, it's, it's easy. We have uh, all types of day one opportunities for our students here in the College of Media and Communication. And we encourage our students to get involved with student organizations from day one. Each one of our academic departments uh, has at least one student organization that a student can get plugged into. In fact, we've got one right here. This is a Bullet Advertising. And uh, Bullet Advertising is our, uh, um, it's a group of advertising majors, but we've also got public relations majors, CMI majors. And what they do is uh, Bullet Advertising is a group of students who uh, basically compete each year with uh, other competitive teams from across this region. And they, they do an advertising campaign on behalf of a real world client. It's really cool that our students get a chance to do this uh, right here at Texas Tech. But advertising is not just the only major that has one of these student organizations. Every one of our student, uh, our, our majors has a, a student organization that they can join uh, from day one of, of getting here on campus. Are there internships available to students? Are those internships in Lubbock or where all do they take place? That's a great question, Taylor. Thank, thanks for asking that. Our students are able to uh, do internships uh, all over. We've got students that will intern in New York City. We've got other students. We had a student intern in London a few years ago. Uh, they're interning in Los Angeles. They are interning in um, Dallas, Austin, Houston, Denver, you name it. We've got uh, all different placements for our students. Of course, we've also got students that get plugged in right here in Lubbock, Texas. You know, believe it or not, Lubbock, Texas is home to some of the major media companies uh, in the nation today. They have affiliates right here in Lubbock, Texas. And so our students literally aren't competing with college students from uh, a, within about a 60 mile radius of other universities. Since we're the only game in town pretty much, they get a chance to uh, walk into those internships with some major media companies right here uh, in, in, uh, in the country, right here in Lubbock. What other types of unique opportunities are there for students here in the college? Oh, man, we've got so many different student opportunities for our students. You know, it's not just about the student organizations here at Texas Tech. Remember I said day one opportunities? Your students will have the opportunity to get involved and get their hands dirty from day one. They don't have to wait. Uh, we'll get them plugged into one of our many student media opportunities right here at, uh, in the College of Media Communication. In fact, l l let's go take a look at some of these opportunities right now, right? Does a student have to wait to get involved in these day one opportunities? <laughs> Not at all. In fact, I think that's what makes us unique uh, when we start thinking about all the different places that a student has to attend, uh, both here in the state and across the nation. Uh, our students get a chance to participate from day one. So the moment they come onto campus, you're, come on, I'll, I'll show you one of these opportunities. From the moment they come here on campus, we want them to get plugged in because we know that um, from a retention perspective, when a student uh, gets involved, the sooner that they can get involved, get their hands dirty, like at our campus radio station, the better it is for them. They're plugged in and they get a chance to participate in their major. Are there opportunities to work in news or sports? Oh, definitely. We've got uh, students right here 
uh, that work for our campus radio station. We've also got a TV studio that I'll show you here in just a minute. And our students are participating in our student media organization as well. So we've got opportunities for students all up and down our building doing all kinds of cool stuff. How would you describe the courses in the College of Media and Communication? Well, I mean, I, here, let's come in here. I'm gonna show you a room real quick. So our students get a chance to learn from some of the best in the country. Uh, these are, this is one of our teaching spaces that our amazing faculty um, get to use to teach all types of different um, concepts. We've got uh, a faculty that, that is just absolutely amazing. And our faculty will work in a, a, a space like this and help students bring their creative ideas to life. Maybe it's an advertising campaign, maybe it's a, a news story. Uh, but all of our uh, majors are able to teach students not only what they can talk about in lecture, but they say, all right, I'm gonna work alongside you, and here's what we're gonna to do to help a nonprofit client out, or here's what we're gonna to do to help a real world client out. How many courses does a student typically take to earn their degree in Mediacom? So in general, and, and, you know, that, as you all know from a counselor perspective, dual credit has really changed the game quite a bit. And so it depends on a student, and our advising team is gonna take a look at uh, each student's transcript. But uh, in general, we require about 56 hours for a student to get a major in, in our college. Of course, they also have the general education requirements. We offer a 120 hour Bachelor of Arts uh, here at Texas Tech University, but about 56 to 60 of those hours are gonna be right here in the College of Media and Communication. Are faculty pretty easy to talk to? Oh, most definitely. Uh, Taylor, uh, I love your questions, by the way. I hope, I hope that uh, Taylor gets an award from y'all or something like that. She's, she's a pretty good uh, question asker. Um, so our faculty um, are really easy to talk to. I think one of the things you'll find in our college is that um, our faculty members, they typically have an open door policy and uh, they, they're here to help. So you can tell your students basically that, you know what, I know at Texas Tech University, I know a guy that didn't have much hair uh, you can take it from him that uh, he said that the faculty at Tech will talk to you because I guarantee you we will. That's, that's who we are. It's part of our culture here. Are there opportunities to get real world experiences? Oh, definitely. Uh, there are several opportunities to get real world experience. One of those opportunities is right here in our program called MCTV. And um, at MCTV, we have the opportunity um, for our students to participate in news, uh, but they can do so much more. And uh, again, this is a testament to our faculty. Um, this space we, we use for a program called MCTV. So we've got students that uh, today will be in here doing a newscast. Uh, but then we open this room up to any student or a student organization because we want students to literally, I said earlier, bring their creative ideas to life. That's what we want here at Texas Tech University. So we've got, had students come in here and they said, you know what, I wanna do a video, video game review show. We said, here are the keys, go make it happen. And so they'll come in here and they'll, they'll create a, a, a show. We had a program that's in its fourth or fifth year now called the Motion Picture Project. And uh, now then, I mentioned the certificate program Part of the reason for that certificate program was that those students created here first. We saw the interest there and that's why we created it. But we want them to have access to these uh, opportunities. Are there classes taught in these spaces? Oh, definitely. Um, we've got students that um, are, uh, for example, our journalism uh, curriculum. We've got students that will take a class and uh, they'll be doing part of their projects right here in MCTV, as well as some of these other spaces that you've seen. And in fact, <clears throat> we've got uh, opportunities for students to earn academic credit in their day one opportunity. So when they get here, if we have a student that's interested in sports media, we'll get them plugged in over with Tech Athletics and they can earn one to three hours academic credit in their very first semester 
shooting video or doing other things for Texas Tech Athletics. Again, it's one of the great things about Texas Tech and the College of Media and Communication. How many students are enrolled in the College of Media and Communication? Right now, we have approximately uh, 2,300 undergraduate students. Uh, we've got um, another 300 grad students, so we're, we're a pretty nice sized college, but honestly, we feel like a family. You know, when you start breaking it down into the departments and uh, when you plug in those day one opportunities, plug in all of our student organizations, we really are operating like a real small family here. So we keep talking about these day one opportunities. Could you give us some example of those? Sure. So um, we just visited MCTV and our campus radio station. We've also got a program that we partner with Tech Athletics called Radio Vision, but we've also got internships and practicum opportunities with our student media organization called Daily Toreador. And uh, the Daily Toreador has a campus newspaper. It also has a yearbook called the La Ventana. And so our students can literally get plugged in in all the different areas that your um, high schools or, or uh, community colleges might be uh, doing right now. Uh, we have opportunities for your students to get plugged in and it's gonna be an easy transition for them to plug into all these different uh, day one opportunities. What makes this college unique compared to similar programs across the country? You know, uh, Taylor, honestly, I think it, it, uh, day one opportunities, I say that over and over and over again, but unfortunately, all too often when we talk to students, we, uh, we ask them, we say, when have the other programs told you that you can get involved? And unfortunately, some of those other programs across the country, they'll make them wait you know, until they're a sophomore or their junior year even before they get their hands dirty um, with one of the uh, day one opportunities like we have. So I think that's one of the big things that, um, what makes us unique. But another, one, another thing I think makes us kind of unique is all of our other transformative educational experiences that we offer. And some of those transformative experiences include programs like Adventure Media. Uh, Adventure Media is a course that we teach every spring break and um, they bikepack. They bikepack about 110 miles uh, during spring, spring break but they're creating content. All the students have cameras, they've got audio recorders, and they're out uh, in the field creating content for clients like Yeti, uh, the Nature Conservancy, and so many other types of organizations where they're getting a real world experience, they're earning academic credit, and they're really doing it in a one of a kind, unique, innovative environment. All right, does the college provide career services to the students? Yes. Um, yeah, I mentioned earlier about uh, uh, all the different pathways that our students can, can participate in in all uh, seven of our academic majors. Well, when you start thinking about help, we also have help for our students in the form of a career counselor here at, in our college. And what she does, she organizes career fairs every semester for our students. Uh, she organizes with University Career Services here at the university. We do resume workshops. We do... Uh, different types of activities to help our students gain sort of that experience that they're gonna need when they go onto the job market. So yes, we do provide career and professional development services here. So earlier you mentioned the jobs that some of your graduates are getting. How would you describe the future for media and comm students? Ah, oh, man, you know, it, it is very bright. <laughs> and I, I think that um, I'm very excited because when you start thinking about just you and I, when you start thinking about how much time you and I spend on the media, what the surveys show is that we do about 12 hours a day spending with some form of digital media, regular media, and we're communicating almost constantly with one another. We'll put that in the context of what we do across all seven of our majors. One of the things we've got coming up is we're building a uh, pretty innovative esports comp uh, competition lab and teaching space. Uh, it's going to be online in fall of 2021. That's yet another area that when I was here, when I was going as an undergraduate student, I never would have imagined that playing Pac-Man or something like that was going to lead to some sort of career. But now then, 
when I look at what Brandon Snow does with Activision Blizzard, and I look at what a Matt Wilson does with his PR degree, where he's the vice president of, uh, uh, for the city of Arlington's Convention and Tourism Bureau, where he was just in charge of building one of the lar nation's largest esports competition spaces. When I look at that, I think about the opportunities for students in the next year, three years from now, five years from now, it is in media and communication. So there's a lot of opportunities gonna be happening. Well, thanks for showing us around. This building is awesome with all of those day one opportunities. What final thoughts do you want to share before we wrap up? Well, Taylor, I just wanna say thank you for coming. Uh, I wanna thank, I wanna thank uh, all of you for joining us today and, and just watching this. I wanna invite you to come to our campus at any time. You can email me at todd.chambers at ttu.edu and I'll show you around personally. Don't ever, has, don't, don't ever worry about bugging me, you're not. Email me and uh, we'll get it situated, all right? All right, thanks for your time, Dr. Chambers.